Ask yourself a question. What draws your eye to a scene enough for you to stop, set up your tripod and take a photo? Maybe it's a pathway that will serve as a leading line or a sense of symmetry to the scene. But as humans, often what catches our eye more than anything is a strong sense of colour. This is where professionals can take advantage of both their knowledge and the software at their fingertips to make more of the colour in the scene and the best way to do this is to remove competing colours. Many photographers who have experimented with colour in their frames will think you either boost colours or desaturate them as a whole. But by working in a localised manner rather than a global fashion, you can remove hues one by one until you're left with the colour you wish to keep and enhance. The key to this technique is the HSL, Hue Saturation Luminance Adjustments option in Affinity Photo. With this technique you're working in a non-destructive manner meaning you won't irreparably damage the image, handy if you don't like the effect and want to start over again. So let's see how this technique comes together. With your image open in Affinity Photo's Photo Persona, head over to the Layers panel and locate the Adjustments icon, which is identified by a half black, half white circle. Where the drop down menus appear, head up and select HSL. You'll notice that a new layer has been created in your layers panel ready for you to work on. With the HSL dialog box now visible, you can continue with the process. In our image, we want to keep the yellow of the taxi and of the zebra crossing. So we're going to keep the yellow and remove all the other competing colours. So the first one we're going to start with is red. And we click on the red circle, move down to the saturation slider and drag it all the way to the left. We're going to repeat this process by selecting the green, dragging the saturation slider to the left. Keep going, removing the competing colours and you'll soon see the image slowly turn to mono but keeping that one colour that you want to keep and enhance. Once you're done with your competing colours, click on the colour you actually want to keep and of course in our case that's yellow and this time use the saturation slider and drag it to the right to boost the yellow in the scene. As you can see, if we click off the HSL adjustment, we'll see we've removed all colour but the yellow, and this really helps the taxi and the zebra crossing pop out from the frame. But the technique isn't done yet. To make more of the mono elements in the frame, we're going to head back down to the adjustments icon, and when the drop down menu appears, this time we're going to select Brightness and Contrast. Another dialog box will appear and we're going to play with the sliders by dragging the Brightness and Contrast to the right. And you'll see how that makes more of the black and white in the frame, further helping the yellow stand out. That's without the Brightness and Contrast adjustment and this is with it. Our last job is to visit the Layers panel one more time. Click on the Adjustments icon and this time select Curves. The Curves dialog box will appear and we're going to draw out an S shape. So this adds further punch to the frame and if we click on and off you'll see how it adds that punch. So one more time let's take all our adjustments off. That was our start image. And this is our final image. By removing all but one of the colours in the scene, we add an arty interpretation to the picture and make more of the colour in the frame. With that done, you can head up to File, scroll down to Export, and then you can save the file in your chosen format, whether it be a JPEG, TIFF or PSD. Have fun experimenting with the colour in your images, and I'll see you next time.